I usually get asked the question, which 3D modeling software is the best for use within game development, especially along with Unity. Being the professional 3D modeler that I am, I decided that in this video, we're gonna check out some of the best 3D modeling softwares this year that you should definitely check out. Also, I said this on the live stream too, but if you guys wanna see more kind of like 3D modeling and artsy kind of content, like level design and stuff like that, especially 3D modeling though, let me know in the comments because I was planning to make some Blender tutorials, but I just wanna see what you guys think about that. I would also like to mention that this video is brought to you by our Patreons, Richard Stance, Kupla, Blue Joey, Beard or Die, MakeAGame.com, Couch Ferret, Wilhelma Leandro, and AcademyOfGames.com. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos. That was real weird flexing, now back to Saiku. What kind of transition is that? I had it written down <laughs> as an idea for like a joke in a video, but it just turned out to be super weird. Like a host that's also a meme lord. Weird flexing, but okay, now back to Sam. All right, so now we're gonna get this video started, but before we do, I just wanna quickly mention that the list of modeling softwares that we have gathered for this video is not listed in a chronological order. So that means the first software we're gonna take a look at doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best one just because it's first in line, and the last one is not the worst one just because it's last. So for every software, we're instead going to discuss and talk about it and take our time. And also, if you have any questions, you can obviously let us know in the comments and we will help you out. And so now let's get started with number one, where we have Blender. Now Blender is one of the most popular 3D modeling softwares out there right now, because it's one of few free softwares with so many features supported. Blender is also open source, meaning if you wish to contribute to its development, or if you feel like it lacks a feature that you need, you can add it in. You're also free to use Blender as you wish to, including for your commercial projects. There's also a massive community behind Blender that can be of help when you need it. And you can export your models from Blender in various file formats, especially in FBX and OBG. OBG? <laughs> I mean, OBJ, you know, OB1, whatever you need. But yeah, so basically these two guys work really well for importing them into Unity. And moving on to number two, we have Maya. Maya is probably one of the more professional programs out there for modeling. It's used by many professional studios like Pixar, but that also means that it comes with a juicy price tag. Maya costs 250 euros per month, which is around 280 US dollars per month. Now Maya does also have a free trial in case you wish to check that out and a link to that is also going to be in the description of this video along with the links to everything else we talk about. So if you want to check any of these modeling softwares out, feel free to use the links in the description. The robust set of features of Maya is what makes it so good. You can do anything from modeling to hair grooming, shading and 3D rendering and just so much more. Exporting your models from Maya to Unity is just as easy as in Blender. The biggest difference between Blender and Maya though is that people see Blender as a great starting point and Maya as a professional tool. So Blender can still be used professionally like even when you grow your business and stuff like that so it's really up to you to decide. Just keep in mind that Maya has a much much more steep learning curve meaning it will be more difficult to learn than the most other softwares like Blender. However it also in return comes with more robust feature set. And at number three we have Houdini. So Houdini is one of the most popular softwares that is widely used in the visual effects industry. And it comes with a free version, which you can use if you're a student or just want to use Houdini for personal work and you don't really make any money off of it. Or if you do use Houdini for commercial work and make money off of it, you can get Houdini for a set of different prices depending on what exactly you need. I would suggest you to check out the link in the description in case you want to see a full price list for Houdini because there are just so many. But the indie version starts from $269 for a year. As Houdini is one of the most viable solutions for this kind of work, the complexity also makes the learning curve steeper, obviously. It is quite difficult to learn, so just a disclaimer, but with practice you will obviously get better and it will definitely be worth your time at the end of the day. On top of all of this, Houdini also has a plugin for Unity specifically. It's called Houdini Engine for Unity and it allows you to easily integrate Houdini content into your Unity projects. So if you're going to specifically work with Unity, which obviously I think you will, depending, you know, judging by the fact that you're watching this video right now. Um, I think Houdini is very good just because they have an official plugin for Unity that is also supported by Unity. And moving on to number four, we have ZBrush. And now ZBrush is a pretty popular software for use within 3D sculpting and 3D printing specifically. Most other 3D modeling softwares also support 3D printing, but ZBrush is particularly good for this kind of stuff. Obviously, it can still be used for regular 3D modeling for just game development, and it's available for 895 US 
dollars, which you pay one time only to buy the license, which will enable you to use the software. ZBrush is pretty much the industry standard at this point for work that involves sculpting, and you can use any of the file formats supported by Unity to export your files into your Unity projects. What most people do is they just use a software like Maya or Blender or anything else we're gonna talk about to actually model a piece, then finish it off in ZBrush by polishing details and sculpting the model. Like now, th that requires a lot more money. Obviously you have to have a budget for that and it, it is kind of like a good step if you're a big studio, but if you're an indie developer, I think going with just the 3D modeling software or just ZBrush for that matter would be fine. And at number five, we have Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D is pretty famous for being friendly to beginners and pros alike. It has a very shallow learning curve, which means that it's quite easy to learn and it costs $600 for three months. There are also other licensing options like a year and stuff like that, and you can see full details about those through the link in the description. Unity supports natively importing Cinema 4D files, which makes it really easy to use Cinema 4D for this kind of work. And Unity also has a full manual for how importing files from Cinema works and how to do it, which I'm also linking in the description, by the way. You can also try the software to experiment with it for 41 days before actually purchasing a license. There seems to be a simple form you just have to fill out to be able to try this, so go ahead and sign up if you're interested, actually. And obviously, link in the description. Sam is such a kind YouTuber. If I was a viewer, I would have subscribed. Seriously, subscribe and like, please. And moving on to number six, we have Autodesk 3ds Max. Now, 3ds Max is a very nice program, but it's only available on Windows, so if you have a Mac, RIP, I guess. 3ds Max is also made by Autodesk, just like Maya, which we covered for a couple steps ago. And it has a very robust tool set for modeling. 3ds Max comes with a price tag of $280. And now you may be wondering, what is the difference between 3ds Max and Maya if they're both made by Autodesk? Now, it really depends on what kind of purpose you'll use this software for. For instance, like rendering is pretty much the same fidelity on both of them. Whereas for animation, Maya is superior with its huge library of animation animation tools, but 3ds Max has a very robust modeling tool set with a huge library of different modifiers, which can make the modeling process so much easier. And depending on how new you are to the world of 3D, the modeling in 3ds Max can be a little bit easier to grasp compared to Maya. And last but not least, moving on to number seven, we have Moto. I assume you pronounce this as Moto, as Moto is another word, and I don't really like associate this with that word, I think. Welcome to the Foundry's Moto. Oh my God, for the first time ever, I actually nailed the pronunciation. Wow, congratulations, Sam. Really good job on this. From this day on, I am no longer Saiku, I am psychic. Anyway, back to the topic. So Moto can be obtained for $599 per month or $1,799 for a permanent license. I actually struggled getting that out of me. Like, did you hear that? I had to take like a huge pause <laughs> before actually saying it. Moto can be a little easier for some people to learn than other programs, depending on if you've used the 3D modeling software before. There's also a trial version to this, so make sure you try it before you subscribe to a license. <laughs> I don't even feel like I should be saying this, but just make sure you try because there's a lot of money on stake. But also, you know, obviously there are so many options like we talked about in this video so just make sure you try the free versions of these softwares before you go to one to like permanently settle into it so those were some of the best 3d modeling softwares or are some of the best 3d modeling softwares for this year along with unity or for use with unity you know what i mean my english is so broken after i went back to sweden for a couple months i'm never going back or at least i'm not staying for that long if you guys enjoyed watching this video and want to see more like this one make sure to give it a thumbs up to show some support and also hit the subscribe button so you make sure you don't st you stay up to tune for new <laughs> so you stay up to tune for new videos and don't miss out on new content that's what i was gonna say and we also have a discord server with over almost 10,000 members not over and in there we're a bunch of like-minded game developers who like to meme chit chat you know share our projects um promote ourselves and all that kind of stuff so if you guys want to become a part of that the link to that is in the description and on screen right now now with that being said i'm gonna be super active in the comment section of this video Video and also in our Discord server, so make sure to join both of these places. And also, if you feel like I did miss out on a new like 3D modeling software that you like, let us know in the comment section too. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section and in our Discord server and on the next video. So peace out, guys. Have a good night. Siempre estará.